Hey, what's up guys? It's Adam Lazy Guy DIY, and I don't know how to put this kindly, but I am an idiot. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Uh, a few weeks ago, I shared uh, an unboxing of a lot of the Craig products that just came out here for 2021, and I shared the crosscut station here. And as you guys very nicely pointed out, I was using it wrong. I assembled this thing wrong. I used the saw on it wrong. Uh, my friends from Craig pointed out to me as well and showed me the fault in my ways. And so what I wanna do is show you what I did wrong, we'll show the video, and then we're gonna show you how to put this thing together correctly and use it correctly and then give you some honest feedback and an honest review on this thing. So I admit it, I'm an idiot. Let's get to this thing, let's fix it. First off, let's go to the video fail. Do not do this folks, this is where I screwed up. All right, let's talk about why this is so wrong. This is the setup that I originally had here. I had the pieces clamped in here. I was like, oh, these will hold it, this is nice. Um, I've set this thing up, I have my curve cut on here. I used my little Makita saw that's right here. I went through and I made a cut and then didn't even think about it because I was rushing through that this is so dumb, why would I have these very, very slidable clamps here? Why would I have to hold it here to go through and cut this to cut any of these pieces for any trim work? And then I have this down here for no reason. Well, the other thing to think about too is these wings here will do absolutely nothing here uh, to hold anything down and support anything. So basically what should have happened spin this entire thing around, set up a new curve cut, cut through here and cut through that way. And then what this does is it secures these pieces here, it has this, and then you're leaning against a bigger backstop here. And that makes so much more sense. Why I didn't think about that and do that in the first place, it's pretty obvious. Um, I was, should have looked at the pictures and everything on here to make sure I was going in the right direction. But uh, yeah, I'm an idiot and now we'll fix this thing. The assembly for this is very sturdy, but what we're gonna do first is we're gonna disassemble this because I already have my curve cut in here. So I'm gonna take off these rails that fit the shoe very nicely. They adjust to whatever circular saw you have. And then we're gonna take out these bottom screws here in the MDF and we're just gonna pull out these pieces and swap new ones in. Uh, it's just aesthetic basically, but it'd be nice to you know line up everything in my curve cut correctly. So I'm gonna swap this one out put the new one in here and then assembly is a breeze. Just make sure that you're looking and you're putting everything in the correct direction, unlike I did before. Uh, so we'll put in this uh, this backer piece in first. You see that everything is already pre-drilled. So it's very nice, lines up very accurately. You're sometimes worried about some of these factory cuts, uh, but everything seemed to be perfect and went in right. And even with the same screw holes that I had before, uh, everything was perfect. So now for assembly, you're gonna put in these rails. You're gonna put in one that goes on the opposite side first, and it all depends on if you have a left drive or right drive circular saw, but you just set it up accordingly. You put the rail facing inward, and then you put this other rail that you can adjust. Um, I recommend obviously sizing it up first, uh, but you can line it up with the holes, add these screws in here, and then you can do micro adjustments. You'll see here in just a second that there's a little screw that you add on top and then you can slide everything. And then I do recommend grabbing a square and making sure that your rails are perpendicular perfectly and then parallel to each other. So just a little machine screw here tightens up and then we'll put the actual saw on here and we'll line everything up. Once you've done that, you gotta do your curve cut. So I've taken it outside here. I'm gonna run a cut all the way through. Make sure you set your depth so it doesn't go too far into the MDF base, uh, but just a little bit so you can line things up. It's nice to have that line to go. So now we're actually gonna use this thing. The wings are in there correctly uh, for the support and we're gonna cut this piece of trim work here. So I'm gonna slide the clamps up and I'm gonna push it. So I'm cutting directly into the fence this time and you see cuts. And if you saw on the original one, when I cut the pieces, there was a little bit of chip out, but this is perfect. All right, now that I've actually read the instructions and looked at it, and honestly, I did look at the instructions the last time, but I did get a little bit confused with which way the images were showing this thing should go. If you're smart, you'll actually look at there's little symbols that are on the actual crosscut station that give it away. I was rushing and honestly got it wrong. So let's talk about my thoughts on this. So it's a great piece. It's nice and solid. There's nothing flimsy on this. The MDF is obviously adds a little bit of weight to it as well. Um, I'm glad I was able to uh, 
replace this as well. I was wondering why we had the base on here, but it's because I have my curve cut in there. You might as well keep all the lines lined up anyway. So uh, now that I've actually used it again the correct way, it makes so much more sense to be cutting into the actual fence and holding things out there. Uh, again, I apologize, I'm an idiot. Uh, but, so what are my final thoughts on this? My final thoughts are that this is a great little thing to take to the job site. I mentioned this on my unboxing before, that if you just have a circular saw and you don't wanna lug around a big miter saw, my miter saw weighs like 80 pounds. It is a pain to lug out of my shop and take anywhere else that period of time. Uh, so it's nice to have this, to have a little miter box and be able to just cut things that way. Uh, the one thing that I find is sort of a drawback, but I mean, you can do with it what you will, is that the little gauge on here to adjust it to do actual miters, um, um, it, it is a sturdy metal. Uh, the connections, in my opinion, are a little flimsy, but if I'm only setting it and I'm doing quick cuts and everything, uh, it's easy to put a square on there or anything and line it up or do a digital angle gauge and set it up on there. And this is just a backrest and support anyway. So nothing big lost there and pretty much you're gonna do 45s or straight cuts anyway. So who cares at that point? So uh, great offering from Craig Tool. Thanks again for sending this to me. They did send it to me along with the other couple things. So if you didn't check out the unboxing review, review of all the new Craig Jags like the 520 Pro and 720 Pro. Check those out as well. I'll link that video, but thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, mea culpa. Uh, I am sorry, uh, but uh, we'll see you next time guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel up here and check out that video down there that is the unboxing where you can see the full screw up of this and all the other new tools from Craig. Thanks guys. Catch you in the next video.